So is it really worth it to buy bulk rares that you find on Kijiji or Craigslist? Well, today I guess I'm gonna have to find out. I saw an ad on Kijiji for $20 for bulk rares. He said he had a few hundred, he didn't really know how much. He said it could be almost three, it could be three and a half hundred, he doesn't know. Usually bulk rares go for about 10 cents if they're in mint condition to local game stores, uh, sometimes even more depending on if the card is uh, needed in any way. But I mean, if that's the case, it wouldn't be a bulk rare, right? If it's a really needed sought after card that is used in multiple formats and decks. Yeah, so I mean, I got it anyways. I'm like, well, 20 bucks, what's 20 bucks nowadays, right? That'll go in a day easily, just you know, a day or two, depending on how frivolous you are with your money. So I'm gonna go through this package and see what's good. All right, so here are the bulk rares that I purchased for $20. I thought that was a decent deal. Uh, he said there's a few hundred bulk rares in there. So why don't we just dig right into it right now and figure out whether or not this was worth it. Okay. Get that in camera frame. All right, it says there's various sets all throughout Magic's history. And let's take his word for it, that that's true. Okay. A nice French card, Battle for Zendikar. Chief of the Titan, I think. I think, I'm not really sure. It says, shoot the Titan, something Titan, that's for sure. Oh, some Dominaria too, so this is very recent. So I think he was just trying to get rid of some bulk then. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is bulk, but I mean, like, some newer bulk, too, which is extra bulk. So we'll put the pile here. Okay, Sylvan Awakening. Keep four suckers. I do like this card, so I'm going to put it here. These are actually pretty good. I mean, before these were reprinted, they were about a few bucks each. Um, so I'm going to put these aside, because they are good. They're seen in uh, Death and Taxes. Nimbizit's also a good card. Boris Reckoner, put that there too. Always good to have slivers. Several bulls. Uh, ooh, some older cards here. It's another, <laughs> it's, a, it's a goif before uh, goifs were good. <laughs> Even Fire Blast, nice Odyssey cards here. Identity Thief. Okay, if I, if I pass over anything that has any value whatsoever, let me know. Tower of Murmurs, okay. That's cool. A lot of new cards. Oh, well, that's not a bulk rare. It's a foil. Must have slipped in there. These two. Oh, and three. And four. And five. Five. Okay, so five foils slipped in. I, mean, I won't complain about that. I'll throw, actually, I'll throw them in a separate file here. Okay. Well, some dual deck stuff. I think that's Blessed versus Cursed. Yep. Cool. Let's organize this pile. More Battle for Zendikar. Okay. Oh, whoa. Mythic. Almost past the Mythic. Um, I mean, it's not a good, it's not a very good Mythic, but I'll put it in that pile there because uh, I think bulk Mythics uh, hold a little more value. More dual deck stuff. Oh. More Dominaria. Used to be a decent card. Older cards here, too. Wow. Oh, old school. That's a good card. I mean, it used to be good. Oh, Arcanus. Cool. I like that card. I mean, it was reprinted fairly recently in Eternal Masters, but still a good card. Underworld Dreams. It's actually a pretty good card. Okay, let's grab another big pile here. I like the old stuff. Oh, old land. I mean, I don't think it's worth much, but it's always nice to have old land because I know which ones are worth a lot from the uh, Onslaught era. The old fetch lands, original fetch lands. Hmm. Pretty 
cool. A lot of old cards here. Some new mixed in there too. Yeah. Old clone. It's pretty cool. This pile's getting a little big. Put it there. Oh, more lodestone golems. And white sun zenith. And another lodestone golem. And endless one. I do like that card. I mean, it's not really worth anything right now, but it is a speculation card that some people spec on, so... Oh, counterflux and Zoom Mortars used to be good and standard. More counterflux. Lux on Smiter. I think this this and foil is pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna put them aside anyways because I do like the some Luxodons. I'd like me some elephants. Okay. Uh, <laughs> brings back some memories right there. How many is there? Five? Wow. That's also pretty new. Un is that more Underworld Dreams? That's pretty, okay. Millstone, old school. Hmm. That was reprinted in Modern Masters for 2015, I believe. Again, if I see anything, because I'm going through these fairly fast, if I see anything that is worth any value at all, uh, just drop a comment. That would be very helpful. Another one. Another one, too. Jeez. A lot of those. I remember Quicksilver Dragon. Oh, Grand Coliseum. I think we got one of them already. Oh, another Arcanus. Good card. Well, I mean, I like it. Trigger of Sorrow. Bingo Links. It'll stuck together. It's very hot here, by the way, guys. In Toronto, if you guys know, we've had pretty much a heat wave for about two weeks straight. Three weeks almost. All right, and that's uh, it, so, eh, decent. Okay. So uh, I'd say there's close to about 300 uh, rares in there. Uh, nothing of substantial value, maybe a few cards worth a dollar, um, maybe, maybe that. Uh, but I think overall it, it was a good deal. I think I got my money's worth uh, out of the cards. Uh, I can't really complain. Um, I think it was money well spent. Uh, if you're willing to do a gamble like this, uh, be warned that a lot of the times, most of the cards will be in very, very poor condition when people are trying to sell a mass amount of bulk rares, uh, not to a store and to a, sell, a collector or a reseller. So bear that in mind when you're gonna go out and make a purchase like this. Anyways, I hope this uh, video was informative in any way and uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, if you really liked it, subscribe and leave a comment. I'm gonna go check eBay now and see if there's anything better to purge myself with this crap.